here at the K River Campground in southeastern Oklahoma. We're here for the Stubborn American Rally, hosted by Adam Sandoval. What do you think of when you picture a motorcycle rally? Probably some drinking and people getting crazy. Maybe some motorcycle games. Definitely some motorcycle racing. And of course, live music. And maybe a broken bike? Ah. Something broken in the transmission. Oh no. This is our first time at the Stubborn American Rally. <laughs> Thursday night, the rally kicked off with a group ride at Chuck's Classic Cycles, a bar and grill with a museum. A large number of motorcycles from all kinds of brands made the trip. We packed the spot and started the festivities while the sun set in southeastern Oklahoma. I was gonna take tomorrow off anyway. Bear or no bear. She did in fact not take the day off. Instead, we went to explore this area of Oklahoma that Caitlin has family ties to. We're in Wilberton, Oklahoma, which is where my grandfather grew up. And we're trying to find the plot of land that his house stood on, the house isn't there anymore, and Nobody could remember the exact address, so we're just gonna go up and down the street and see if we can maybe figure out where, where the house would have been. And in doing so, I dropped my bike. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Ah, I forgot I just put it into second. Ow. <sighs> Is it okay? Yeah, just my left leg now, or my right leg, this time. This is a steep hill, and you obviously you had to put you had to lean it to the right and put your foot down, but you're turning to the left, so the bike's gonna lean to the left. Oh, I can't. My thing doesn't shift. My bike doesn't shift. Shit, it won't shift up. I don't I don't know if it's because it's like not pulled in enough or something to shift. Or what? It was hard getting it down out of second. Yeah, you can feel it like pulling the clutch. It's like dragging. So the question is, is something broken in the transmission? Oh no. I mean, that's how like triumphs are famous for when you drop them on that, they break that way. Shit. Oh no. First and foremost, took the gear off, fiddle around with some things. I think we need to go down this street and try to get somewhere where we have shade. Even if it's just under those trees right there. I mean ultimately if the if something's broken inside there, there's nothing we're gonna be able to do to fix it. I mean, something definitely with my clutch is beyond not right. Well, we have a temporary fix. Things are kind of all fixed now. Fixed enough to get us back to the campground and back to our tools. Wow, this is lovely. This is really nice. So my mom and aunts and uncles used to come out here and play here when they would come out in the summertime. At least we found Robber's Cave. We could have slid down that. It would have been just fine. After that, it was time to head back past the recent forest fire to the Stubborn Americans so Caitlin could see the chiropractor that's available at the rally. And these guys make such long rides. So I rode here from Virginia Beach a couple days ago. I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. They yeah. come in, they're kind of hurting, and they just want to have a good time, and so we're here to just keep that going on. Then it was time for some motorcycle games. Oh, wow. That's an entrance. That's confidence. <laughs> All right, ladies, you got your left hand on the pole? <laughs> <laughs> you ladies have done this before. I know you have. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Set. Go! <laughs> 
all the classic biker games were there. Oh my god! We missed the tug of war competition, but we made the barrel races, where some riders had more support than others. Yes, DJ! There was a burnout drag race! Ride the wood, which he fell off pretty quickly, but some didn't even touch it. Just the whole damn wood. Others had no issue. A hot dog eating contest with your partner and arm wrestling for those that don't have noodle arms like myself. And for every game, there was a winner. Uh, Grock, and he talked me into it. <laughs> I love it, man. Adam puts on a good show. That's oh, awesome. it's so much fun. This yeah. was our favorite event by yeah. far. My folks have been here every time they've had an event. Yeah. <laughs> Guaranteed to have a great time. And free shots certainly helped to make that good time a reality. Mystery shots served Listen, up by her two couple, wheels. Oh, that's a face. So this couple came in <laughs> a week early. And we've been drinking in the river every day I don't know all week. What that was. And it might be big. A little liquid oh, courage else? before the slow race. Yeah, that's really good. That went down much smoother than that other shot. Slow races, a classic motorcycle pastime. First one to put a foot down or cross the finish line loses. All kinds of bikes showed up. Some lost right away. Some crept slowly. And Kid, he barely moved. And how did I do? Go. Well, I knew I was representing scramblers everywhere. Oh, they're slow. We got two slow guys here. Oh, we got two very slow guys here. This is a competition. Here we go, now we're talking. Oh my lord. Oh man. One by one, Kid decimated the competition until there was nobody left and Kid was the last one standing. He even switched bikes to his Triumph Tiger and challenged Adam to a rematch. But once again, Kid was unbeatable. Next year, if you want to win the slow race, you're going to have to deal with this guy. A lot of times on social media, creators will hype the event and you show up and it's, it's really not what you thought it was going to be. This place is everything that, that they said it was going to be. Adam does a great job, Adam and Ashley, throwing this event. Uh, it's just a, a, a great time. It's everything that, that you see about it. Breakers, are you ready? Do a five lap. Keep it clean, don't die. Ready? Go! Only the bravest riders were willing to wrestle these delightful death machines. More courage than common sense, these motorcycle mutants ride at top speed. 
while sliding through the turns and dodging water balloons. But sooner or later, riders went down. This guy crashed, got back up, and crashed again. But every crash was followed by the rider getting back up and back into the race, having the fortitude to not give up and to crash again. When they weren't crashing, these brave souls threw caution to the wind, putting everything they had into the race, some decorated in delightful costumes to intimidate the competition, but all trying to be the winner who takes home a mini bike. This was a tough group of riders, but there would be only one winner. And the champion of the mini bike race is Kyle. Coming into the win, way to go Kyle. The thing that's neat about this event versus other rallies and everything is that it's not wild and crazy. It's just some place you can come, you can have fun, you can drink, you can not drink, you can just hang out and meet people. At night, things kicked up with live music from the Big Mama Band. There were plenty of tunes to get your groove on. There was a costume contest and then the Cat House Girls took the stage and put on a show while giving veterans free shots to thank them for their service. And well, things got pretty crazy. Hey, calm down there, fella. But what we noticed is Adam personally thanking everyone for their service. The motorcycle games raised over $2,000 for charities. Adam and his campground put veterans first. So the building behind me was built specifically for veterans who are disabled, and they can stay here for a short time in the campground for free. There's also a cabin and a campsite area for veterans can stay for free as well. Just having this cabin here, like, it paid for my gas to get here. Uh, like, I am, I'm so happy for what he has done. This isn't about glorifying a bike company or anything like that. It's about taking care of the vets and making sure everyone down here has a good time. That's an area that's definitely lacking, and so it's great that he's able to use his audience to do that. It's great what Adam does uh, for our community and to give back. And like he says, he didn't serve, but he serves those who did. I mean, he has a handful of things that he does and money that he raises for different uh, societies and things like that. I would recommend it to anybody to come here, not just for the rally, but just because of what the campground stands for, for veterans. 10 days down here made me focus in on what I wanted and got my head back straight. That's why I like coming here. It gives you a chance to reflect and go back to who you are. And come on out next year for an absolute great time. Every one of these individuals rocks. They all carry us, dude. We're a small little campground down here on the river in a little bitty town that nobody would go through if there wasn't a reason to come. And these people give us a reason to come every fucking time. So thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart. I could not do this without any of you. You are amazing. None of us and none of these amazing people out here would be here if it wasn't for you. So we want to thank you for everything you do, for being a stubborn American, for fucking rocking it, supporting our veterans, and for doing everything you do. We thank you.